Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to make a square bowl and I've chosen the mold, the 20 by 20 centimeter mold from Molds and Shapes. And I'm just starting with my clear resin. The resin I'm using here is the ultra cast resin and I pour along the edge. And somehow my clear resin just um, yeah, pulled to the center. I don't know why. Normally it's just lying there. But sometimes, you know, resin has its own head and it just happens. Um, before I want to say more about this pour, I want to thank you so much for yeah, participating with the 10k um, giveaway. I'm so overwhelmed. There were so many messages and I'm really thank thankful to all of you. I'm, I'm just over the moon. It's really brilliant. So next Saturday, um, I will see, um, I will pick the winners and I will contact the winners um, with a message here on YouTube. So I message the winners and yeah, just check it out. And I cross my fingers for everyone. So, and now my next color is um, layering or I need to layer and this is the black and I only added one drop of the pigment drops in there and you see it's quite um, pigmented and I want to have a transparent black and I'm just pouring it into the center of my mold and I just let the resin touch the black resin touch the clear resin and I just let it spread and I'm not helping it at all. I just let the resin move wherever it needs to move. So if my voice is a little bit strange, I caught a cold. So please forgive me if, yeah, sometimes my voice is a little bit funny. It happens. It's, you know, it's been raining so hard here and... Yeah, it's not very nice weather. So I'm just making sure that I get rid of um, bubbles, which might be trapped at the sides. So I'm using my dotting tool. I'm using it very carefully that nothing will happen, that I'm not scratching my mold. And you can see the bottom of the mold is almost um, yeah, covered. So, and now I thought I'd try the baby's breath from Laura's Art Corner. It's really my last of the baby's breath. It's now empty and done. So, Laura, it took me almost two years, but now it's empty. And I'm just pouring it in the middle of the mold because I want to achieve a nice crackle effect again. So, my, my mica is just pulling underneath the um, black resin and for the edges where I have the clear I want to take um, a mica, it's a sort of mica black with some sparkle in there and it's called Hermanit. So I don't know if it's the same, if you pronounce it the same way in English language, in German it's Hermanit. And I'm pouring this along the edge where I have my clear resin. I did a similar pour with different colors um, in the pumpkin mold, in the coaster mold. But I thought, why not trying to make monochrome colors and see what I can achieve. And just wait and see what the resin is doing. So I don't know, of course how the Hermanit is working, if the black in there will be giving me some effects, I will need to wait and see. So, and this is my pour practically done. I'm just quickly using the torch and I'm just popping some bubbles and then I can show you a little bit of a time lapse how the resin is changing, how yeah, what the resin is doing, that the crackle effect is starting to create. I don't know if you can see it. And you can see also the hermanit is working. So I'm very curious. And this is now a close-up. And 
yeah, I'm very, very positive that there could be a nice outcome. And here at the edges, you see some striations from the black. I'm very curious. <laughs> And for you now a second, for me half a day and I can demold. So there's my aluminium bowl beneath my, my uh, mold and I can demold. You can see it's still quite bendy, but I can touch the resin. It's, it's cured that I can touch it. And the black made really wonderful um, striations. So I'm very curious. And yeah, I always struggle with, with the molds, even though the molds are really from high quality from molds and shapes. But when they are big and I have only one hand, <laughs> yeah, I just struggle. It's always the same with me. But look at these striations and look at the crackle effect. I, I'm very happy with the pour. And I thought I make a square bowl. It's something different. It gives a different shading or sh not shading, shape, shaping. <laughs> and yeah, I just put it into the bowl and then I let it cure. And this is now, yeah, another half a day later. And I can, you see, it goes easily out of the big bowl and my little square bowl is finished and I'm very happy with the result also with the little effects at the edges with the black and I have this glittery nice black shimmer at the outer rim and I'm really happy with this. So with the final reveal I love and leave you and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye-bye.